Hello everybody, how you doing today? Buddy Blackford here, another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the level adjustments commands. And what we're going to do is use that to adjust the tonal values or do some color correction within our photos. And we're going to do it by using, um, coming up to the image um, options menu here, and we're going to go to mode or uh, adjustments we're gonna go to adjustments and we're gonna come to levels and you can see that the hotkey is control L and uh, levels is something that you may use a lot if you're doing some color correction and stuff like that in your images so keep that up there in my opinion it's one of the best uh, color correction tools that Photoshop has and any other program has so levels is something that's known throughout other programs like After Effects and I've seen it in other programs like Nuke and things like that. So let's go ahead and uh, look at what we got here. So we have our box that came up. Now what Levels does is it bases uh, color information off this uh, image in the middle and what this image is called is a histogram and it takes the black levels, the mid grays and the uh, whites here and you can adjust them to adjust how your image looks. So if I move this uh, black level right here and bring it in, it's gonna make the overall image darker. If I move the uh, white level in here, it's gonna make the overall image brighter. And if I move the midtones here, it's going to adjust um, basically the same way. So left is brighter, right is darker, but it's going to make, um, it's going to adjust it from the mid-tone values and not from like the black values. So basically it's taking your mid grays and making them darker or your mid mid uh, mid grays and making them lighter if you use it from the middle. Now if you're moving around your sliders here and they don't um, your image doesn't update while you're doing that you just want to make sure that you have this preview option checked here. See, if I move it now, it's not going to show me what's going on. But if I have preview on, then I'm definitely going to see what's going on when I move the sliders around. Alternatively, if you know exactly what you want to put in, say you're doing a bunch of uh, levels or something like that, and uh, levels commands, you can take put the, uh, um, the values in manually into these boxes here. So if I, I don't know, want to do 10 here, and it'll move everything along the slider. So that's uh, one way you can do things. So make sure you have an image open right uh, before you do this and apply the levels command like I showed you. The first thing I want to show you is that there is a button here called auto and if you click it it's gonna do a quick levels adjustment for you. And you can see it did that and what the auto is based on, I'm going to hit Control Z so I can go back. It's based on what's in the options menu here. So click on the options and you get your auto color correction options. Now it's based on these different algorithms and it's what you pick. So you can enhance the brightness and contrast and that's what happens when I click on auto. Now if I click on some of these other things, you can see how the auto uh, adjusts them differently here. And then you've got the option to uh, snap the neutral midtones. Um, watch, I'll show you what that means. If I click on this, um, you can see how the histogram changes and becomes a little bit more smooth when you're snapping the neutral midtones. And then you've got your uh, clipping here, which means that nothing will go past the uh, darkest dark. So right now, nothing is clipped. If I start bringing this up, it's going to clip off the darkest black. So the darkest thing is is actually this gray right here. So that's what the clipping does. And you can clip off on the highlights and the shadows, but you can't clip on midtones because they're not at the end. So once you get some of this uh, set up the way you want it, you can click on save as default if you want, and that's what it'll default as. So if you didn't do anything, it's gonna just stay on enhance brightness and contrast, and that's gonna be your default. So hit OK and pick whatever you need to. And let's get into this. Um, so 
as I did this, things got moved around, so I'm just going to move them back. This should be 1, and this should be 255. And uh, that's what um, the starting values always are, are usually. That's the default values. Another way to um, work with levels quickly is to use these presets. Now, the presets um, have the values here, and um, you can click on any of these. So we got darker here, which will make the image darker. We've got increased contrast, and there's a bunch of them that'll increase the contrast. And then we've got um, all these other ones that you can uh, mess with and see if um, you like them in your image. Default brings it back to the defaults, which is 0, 1, 255. And then custom here, you can create a, uh, a custom image here. Or, a, I mean, a custom levels of adjustment. Now, if you create a custom adjustment, so let's just do something like this. We'll make it uh, darker here. So we got this mid-tones to the right. We made the mid-tones darker. You can click on this little button over here that looks like a couple like lines or something like that. And you can hit uh, Save Preset. And it goes already into your Presets menu. And just hit uh, Mid-tones Darker, or whatever you want to name it. Save it, and it'll show up down here. And these um, here are your different levels adjustments that you created as custom. So if I, I made one that was said reduce redness and I click on that and you can see that there's no red in this. And I made that because I had a picture on here one time that um, the, at a bar and the neon lights were making the entire thing red. So once I did this, it took out all the red and made a normal color picture. So there's the darker and then this is the default so you can see how the presets get saved. Most of the time when you're working with presets or the auto, you they're usually a good way to start out something, but you may want to usually manually adjust and um, get to where you want the image to actually be. So, so you just they're just usually good starting points. The pre they're presets that are meant to give you like a good starting point not to be like a final option but um, I mean if your client doesn't really care too much about it and it's not like super professional then go ahead and just use these to get your stuff done done quicker I mean that's the more uh, you get done the more money you can make so if you get your project done quickly you can go ahead and move on to another project just make sure that you guys are putting out good quality stuff so we'll just put this back on default so we have everything back to where it was. Now you can um, just adjust certain channels. So when I was adjusting the uh, reduced redness channel here, or reduced redness um, preset here, if I go to my red, you can see that I moved the midtone slider here to reduce the redness. If I go look at my others, they're about the same. So what I did is I started out with a, a preset and then I moved the red channel over to take out red. So if I start, um, let me go back to the default and you can see that there is a decent amount of red and there's a decent amount of blue, especially over here. So if I go, let's go to the blue channel and start taking out some of the blue. Now you can see that this is more of a yellowy picture instead, and uh, some of the blue has been taken out. So if you want to, um, you can start creating presets that take out blue and take out red and green and stuff like that. So let's go back to our default. And remember that you can save and load presets from here. So if your presets didn't show up, you can load them. Or if you go on the internet and download some free levels adjustment presets you can load them in using this and find where you put them um, I would recommend putting them in your levels folder on your in your Photoshop files so it's easier for you to find now over here at the uh, bottom is called the output levels and this is um, 
pretty much it sends out the level or it adjusts the levels of ink you're going to send out to your um, output device, which is usually a printer. So this is what this is for. So you don't really want to use this as an overall kind of kind of thing. Use these sliders up here that are in your histogram instead of using the output levels because you can see how it doesn't really work very well. It just, I don't know, it just, uh, just only use them for when you're messing with the amount of printer ink you want to use. One last thing that I wanted to show you about levels is these eyedropper tools that are over here um, underneath the options. And what these do is they sample your image to set the uh, white point or mid gray point or black or a black point here. So I have a white selected here right now. And if I go ahead and select the white point, now this is going to be where white is based off from. So I would pick something that's something somewhat white. Oh, let me click on it first. And something that's pretty white. This is probably the closest I'm going to get because there are no pure whites. And now the white point is set differently and the histogram changes. You can hit Control Z to go back. I'm going to try the black point here and I'm going to use this black part of the shoe and you can see that it's probably going to make the image uh, a lot darker. And you can see that there. It actually looks pretty cool this way. I like the way this one looks. So it depends on what you're going for. Now this image now looks like it's more at dusk or uh, towards the nighttime, getting ready to uh, become nighttime. And this image seems like it's more towards uh, morning time and give you more of like a dreamy feel. You can also set the midtone value, so just click on something. And these are ways that you can uh, goof around and mess with your uh, different values to see like come up with new types of color corrections that you might like within your vi within your image. So you can see that when I did use the black one black when I set the black point it made a pretty cool looking image and I might want to keep this at some point. So that's uh, what I wanted to show you. Remember that the samplers adjust your uh, black point or white point or midtone point and change what the histogram looks like on your image. So thank you for watching this uh, more in-depth levels adjustment video. Levels is a very important tool when using color correction. Um, that curves and contrast and brightness and things like that all combine together to help you make really awesome looking color corrections. And uh, clients love it when you take their um, image, it makes something a lot better. And color correction is one of the um, most impactful ways to do that and get them to be like wow that looks really awesome so that's all i wanted to uh, talk to you guys about here and i want to thank you again for watching and head over to buckysroom.org to see if you can or uh, to check out the tutorials that we have up there on the website and join the forum if you have any questions and go ahead and ask away and um, everybody will be happy to help you answer questions there so Everybody have a nice day. See you later.